Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. And I'm using up the last of our turkey leftovers from this long Thanksgiving weekend. Um, and I'm going to make turkey fried rice. We've been using up the leftovers the past couple of days. We had like turkey and gravy and french fries and uh, hot turkey sandwiches. But I just want to use up the last of the vegetables and the little bit of turkey left and make turkey fried rice with the with that so I'm just making some basmati rice I have a video on how to make it I'll put it in the description box down below but it quickly it's just two cups of rice to three cups of water and uh, you bring it to a boil put a blob of butter on it you can add salt if you want put the cover on it and take it off the heat and leave it for 20 minutes how easy is that but this is our favorite kind of rice so I just put the rice in there with the water and turn it on high. I'm going to wait till it comes up to a boil and then we'll just move on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to dig out the veggies and stuff. Alright, you guys can see how it's starting to um, bubble up nicely. So I'm making supper bub. I'm just putting a blob of butter. I'm doubling this recipe, guys. How I said it was two cups of rice to three cups of water. I did four cups of rice and six cups of water because I've got a big family if you're new to my channel. And uh, yeah, we like to eat. So, Maze, you need to hold your horses. I don't know where my salt is right now. It doesn't really matter. So I just put the cover on it, shut the burner off, and I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to get a frying pan ready because we're going to saute up some veggies. Now let me see. Let's see here. There's a pan. I got the one. What do you need a spoon for, Mace? I got one. Yeah, what do you need a spoon for? I need That's it. a fork, baby. No. Just putting a not little fork. blob of butter. Not fork. That's not a spoon. Huh? You know better than that, silly boy. That spoon. Okay, well, I'll go play. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, I was going to throw the onion in there, but I think I'm going to do up this big package of mushrooms we got at Costco. Because we love mushrooms, and uh, yeah, they love us. So <laughs> this is going to seem like a lot, because it is, but we're going to eat each and every single last one of them. And I don't add any salt or anything to mushrooms when you first cook them. You shouldn't. Um, Oh, I'll turn the burner back on. Give it give it a few minutes. Give it like 10-15 minutes and they'll they're gonna you know wilt down a little bit. They there is juices in mushrooms. You might not think it, but there is. And they release some of the juices easier. And then when they're all done cooking, then add the seasoning that you want. So I'll add the onions in a little while, but right now I'm just gonna wait for these to start to cook up. So take a gander now. I'll bring you back in a few minutes and you'll see what they look like. So oh, Maze is here having a conniption fit. But it's been a long day. Tomorrow is my daughter's baby shower and I've been doing another video today. Just little bits of cleaning here and there and decorating and whatnot. But I just thought I'd do a separate supper video. Um, just because I don't know if I'll have a video ready for tomorrow. I am going to vlog a bit tomorrow but I don't know if I'll have it all edited. This way I can have this one edited and upload it if I need need to but yeah um, tomorrow is Friday the 13th and she is actually due to have my first grandbaby on Halloween so how appropriate very exciting very exciting but can you see how much those mushrooms have went down I haven't added a thing to them except that little blob of butter and you can see the liquid in there I'm gonna throw the onions in here now those mushrooms will still cook down a little bit but this is one large onion. I would have did two onions. I have two onions, but I'm going to need uh, my last two onions for something else because I'm making food for tomorrow, too. So I'm just going to break it up. Cut it up for whatever size you want to cut it up to. This is cut up small. It's just it's still all stuck together now. And, uh, yeah, just kind of drive it all together. I still haven't added anything. I just want to show you, this is the leftover veggies from Thanksgiving. Corn, peas, beans, and carrots. I might cut the beans up a little smaller. 
But those are all going to go in the frying pan too after those um, onions let go a little bit. And then I'm going to season it up a bit. Um, all this time the rice is still over there doing its thing. For fried rice I find it's always easier using cold rice but that's not going to be happening today. But that's okay. It'll still work. But if you get a chance make the rice a day ahead of time or in the morning or whatever. It works better. It's easier to work with I guess. But yeah. I'll wait for these uh, onions to break down a bit and then we'll start throwing the other stuff in. Now, these vegetables were seasoned, but pretty much with basic stuff. A little salt and pepper and some. The corn, I didn't add anything to it. The peas were a bit of salt and pepper. The beans were straight up. Oh, they were cooked in bacon fat. That's what they were. <laughs> they were fried up, fried up in a frying pan. So uh, those are nice and tasty. And the carrots, a tiny bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and butter. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't have to add a whole lot to this. I am going to add a bit of soy sauce and stuff to the, the rice, but yeah, so I don't need to add any salt really, I guess, because I'm going to be using soy sauce. Yeah, we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to add some of this. I won't add the beans quite yet because I want to cut them up a little bit smaller. These are cold. They're right out of the fridge, but I'm adding them all. I want to use all of this up. They're still good. They're only a few days, no, uh, three days. But they've been in the fridge. We've been eating them. A little bit here, a little bit there. And I mean, I could have used this for a soup or whatever. Um, but I'm going to make fried rice. And I'm making a big bunch because if we don't eat it all, you can use this as a freezer meal. And I have a few little containers. And I'll give it to my daughter. That's the plan, Stan. Let me wipe my glove off. I've had a few people ask me why I wear a cloth glove under my plastic gloves or rubber gloves or, you know, food prep gloves. I do it because my hands get itchy sometimes. This time of year especially, I have eczema and for some reason this time of year it's really hard on me. And since I wash my hands all the time and I like to wear gloves when I prep food, it sweats. And if it sweats, it gets itchy. So if I wear one of these gloves, this hand especially, but sometimes both of them, um, it doesn't happen, so that's why I wear them. So yeah, this is still sizzling and all, all the stuff. You can add anything to fried rice for heaven's sakes. Pineapple or beans or anything. Just so happens this is <laughs> Thanksgiving fried rice. But uh, there's, there's still quite a bit of meat. I'm going to end up frying all this and then getting the meat out to... Uh, to cut it up a bit smaller but you can see oops they're just my hands are clean guys I just want them a little smaller all right conniption fit patrol is on the roll again <laughs> no baby no anyways I turned the heat off just because uh, I'll, I'll start working with this in about 20 minutes and I'll heat it all up. I still haven't added anything to this because I think I'm just going to flavor it all when I start doing the fried rice. I might end up having to do two pans though because that's a lot of rice and this is only, that's a lot of vegetables. So I could do two whole frying pans of fried rice I think. So when it comes back to, uh, you know, marrying these two together, I will bring you back so you can uh, see it. Okay, I got to deal with a cranky pants McGee over there. heated up together. I'll put a little picture here. It looks so pretty, pretty. Mr. Mays is right there. He knows not to touch it. He's used to working in the kitchen with me. And, uh, if he pulls any of his shenanigans, he's booted out of here. Aren't you, Bob? Yeah. Huh. He's holding the fork. He's been holding the fork. I swear to goodness, I feed him all day long. He acts like he's starving to death. I'm just going to put a Smidge of oil. Uh, that's quite a bit. That rice is done. 
take my glove off now. Whoop. You gotta hop off, Bob. I need to open this drawer so I can get a big fork. And you hear people, if you're not used to cooking rice, uh, fluffing <laughs> rice, it just means to kind of move it around. Because if you stir it, sometimes it mashes together like mashed potatoes. And you don't want to do that. And this is a um, a lot of rice, so I'll, I'll fluff, you know, half of it and then use it up. And then fluff the bottom stuff, so... I'm turning the burner up on a eight. Back up, baby. I need, I need to get in here, hon. I need to get in here. You're right my way. Yeah, I'll just let that warm up a smidgen. Doesn't really matter if you add it a bit early. Uh, wait till that sizzles. But have any of you guys watched the show Vice Principles? Oh my goodness, it's not appropriate for children, just so you know. It is absolutely not appropriate for children. However, <laughs> I guess it's an HBO show. It's like a sitcom, it's only a half hour show. But holy moly, it's pretty funny. If you get a chance to watch it, there's lots of bad words in it and scenarios in it, but it's good for a adult, sometimes raunchy kind of humor if you're into that sort of thing and the box that we have we can get it so it's kind of it's kind of neat something I had never even heard of this show before um, that might sound crazy to some that uh, get HBO I don't this is the first time we could ever get it anytime I wanted to watch an HBO show I would buy the DVDs like True Blood or anything like that Maze so what I do just add a bit of rice and add a bit of veggie, add a bit of rice, add a bit of veggie. And I'm going to end up having to do a couple of pans of this. I know I am. this little monster. Show everybody the fork you've been carrying around. <laughs> what do you have a fork for? What do you want? What are you going to use your fork for though? Eat supper. Eat supper. <laughs> he's no bigger than a minute honestly guys. He's almost three but he's only like maybe 23 pounds. He's tiny little guy but he has muscle of a a he-man and uh, the wheel of a, I don't know, rhinoceros. Anyways, I'll bring you back, Jack, and we'll uh, we'll be ready to have supper. All right, guys. Sorry, it's been a little while. Everybody's eaten, and I'm just packing up the leftovers. I have these three little um, freezer containers. I did up. I'm going to put them in my deep freezer and give them to my daughter tomorrow. And this is what's left. I ended up having three frying pans full. And uh, so we still have one frying pan left. And that'll be used up tomorrow, I'm sure. But yeah. That's turkey fried rice for you. I just put a little soy sauce in there. Some people add a little um, hot sauce or whatever you want. But yeah, it's some good eating. And you know what's in it. Lots of veggies and a little turkey. So, anyways, peace, love, and happiness. And this is a great way to use up leftover turkey. Turkey dinners. Turkey dinners. So, all right. Please like, share, and subscribe. And stop back tomorrow. We'll see what we'll be up to. All right, guys. Have a good evening. Bye.